Hey everyone, it's Ivan with Badger.com, here to bring you another gear review, and today we're talking flashlights. This guy right here, pretty good size flashlight, which is the Claris X-T32. What is the X-T32? It's pretty much a lightsaber. No, it's a flashlight. And while on the low end, it'll be about 20 lumens, and the top end, 1200 lumens. 1200 lumens these days with respect to flashlights isn't like groundbreaking, but Based on kind of the geometry of the lens in here, it'll reach out to about a thousand yards, at least on paper. In my experience, honestly, at night, even with this, I have a hard time seeing past like five or 600 yards, but this will absolutely illuminate out that far. Part of what is significant about the X-T32 is basically the amount of power in here. If you unscrew the tail cap, you have access to the batteries. And in this, we actually have two 18650s. This one came with Claris's 2600 milliamp batteries. I think they're pretty significant. And if you don't have these, these are rechargeable. I love them because they're rechargeable. If you don't have 18650s, it basically will take four CR123 batteries. With that, there is absolutely a lot of power in this, which Again, it's gonna give you the high end of 1200 lumens, but more importantly, it's gonna give you kind of longevity with respect to burn time. This flashlight has a number of different modes. Again, starting at the bottom, 20 lumens, has a runtime of about 120 hours. Then it also has 100 lumens, 400 lumens, and a 1200 lumen output. At the top end of the 1200 lumens, with these batteries, you're gonna actually end up with three hours of runtime which is pretty significant, especially at that output level. Also, there's a strobe, which, whatever, it's a strobe, don't have a huge use for it, but to the end of kind of search and rescue or getting lost with this thing, there's an SOS feature. So it's actually gonna flash SOS for you at 100 lumens, and the burn time for that is actually 102 hours straight of SOS. Hopefully you can get rescued in that time. As far as functionality of the light, on the back here, you have a clicky switch. If you press that down, it'll stay on. Otherwise, you can depress it halfway and it'll turn on intermittently. And you also have this paddle switch, which will switch between modes for you. Over here on the side, there's this button. If you press it, a green light will flash, showing you basically the battery level, or it'll turn red if it needs to be charged. And as far as kind of by the numbers, things about nine and a half inches long, one inch wide body and then up here the lens it's about two and a half inches weight wise this thing empty without batteries around nine and a half ounces and again aircraft grade 6160 aluminum type 3 hard coat anodizing all that good stuff the xt32 also shares a number of claris's kind of other features they incorporate into other lights such as basically spring compartments inside the battery, so on either end. So if this thing takes impacts, it's not gonna wreck your batteries or any of the internal workings for the light. In addition to that, kind of smart technology with respect to the circuitry. So if you have this thing blazing at like 1200 lumens, it'll step itself down rather than burn itself up if it's creating too much heat. And of course, this is basically a heat sink around the front as well. On top of that, we have kind of a number of different settings. One, in that you can program kind of the different switches to include this side switch. I basically have it more or less on lockout. Don't really use it other than to be able to check the battery level of the light. But as far as these switches, we can also program them in two different settings. One, either kind of the classic setting, which I don't really use, or the hunting setting, which I do find more functional. For me, the hunting setting, most practical. On the back here, that clicky switch, which we can depress momentarily or click on. When you press that, you have all 1200 lumens. Thing is super bright. Or the paddle, if we depress that, we get 20 lumens. Again, other end of the spectrum. What that'll do for us is if we need a lot of light, we have it right there. Or more than likely, most tasks just require a small amount of light just use the paddle, you get the 20 lumens for whatever small task there is. Ultimately, who is this light for? What are the applications? Personally, I think something like this would be really handy with respect to search and rescue, 
where you want to go find someone and you need a lot of light. Or when I was in law enforcement, you wanted all the lumens. You want to see everything. And I think this would definitely lend itself to that. This, because of how big it is, isn't necessarily something I would want on my belt. Don't want to have to sit down in a patrol car with this thing. And honestly, even dropping it into a sat pocket, this thing would probably just beat the hell out of my leg should I had to run. But honestly, just even having this thing in the door panel or something, come to a call at night, be able to take it out, do whatever you need to do, check something. I think it would be pretty handy for that. Other than that, you could absolutely use it for maybe hunting at night, depending on if you can legally do so where you live. You can most certainly mount this on a rifle. And Claris makes their own tape switch, which you can put on here if you don't want to use the switch that's already on here. But this is big, like the diameter of this is big. So you kind of run into a couple problems. While this is a one inch outside diameter, which a lot of flashlights are, so it's relatively easy to find a flashlight mount, most mounts are really low profile. So they're gonna get this really close to the rail. So because of the diameter of this, you're either gonna run into the rail or maybe even the barrel, or you're gonna be throwing a bunch of light onto a suppressor if you're running a suppressor, something along those lines. So we actually wanna kind of push this out, which ironically is probably the one place this Magpul offset flashlight mount works pretty well. This thing is really far off as far as like the offset for it, which is why I don't care for it for most weapon lights. But with something like this, it will work. Probably kind of the best thing going for it. This thing will definitely throw a beam out there. Right here is a target at about 100 yards. Again, white steel silhouette absolutely illuminates it. You can honestly see really good with this thing out there. And then pushing even further back, we have that same silhouette out at 300 yards. Again, keep in mind, depending on your rifle, optic, or whatever you're trying to shoot at, 300 yards at night is actually pretty far to shoot. But because of the size and basically the beam this thing's putting out, not really go-to solution for a weapon you're gonna use indoors. You don't want to be clearing rooms with this thing. But anything outdoors where you actually need to reach out, this thing will do it. One of my favorite things, honestly, is the fact that you can buy this as a kit. It comes with some pretty good 18650 rechargeable batteries and a recharger. The beauty of this recharger is one, pretty small footprint, pretty lightweight, comes with a little USB cable, so you can charge those batteries, but it also on the back has a five volt output. What this allows is you to go ahead, plug in some other USB cable, then plug that into pretty much whatever you want, in this case, my iPhone, and click these guys, boom, starts charging drawing juice from these 18650s, putting it into whatever device you want. Granted, this isn't gonna be as good as like a dedicated backup battery bank for whatever, charging devices, stuff like that. But you can absolutely use it in a bind, kind of, yeah, like function stacking. I think it's pretty rad. Generally, I can get about two charges of, pretty sure this is success, about two charges of my phone off of these batteries, which if I'm out in the back country and I run out of juice in my regular power pack, pretty awesome option to have. If you have need for what amounts to basically a handheld spotlight, pick one up. You can find them usually over on Amazon, about 130 bucks for basically the package, which I'm a big fan of. I really like the batteries it comes with to include that kind of multifunctional charger. And yeah, Pretty cool lights. And if you appreciate the content I create, I would greatly appreciate your support. Honestly, whether it's just sharing a video of mine or maybe picking up some of my targets over at kipadger.com or maybe even supporting me through Patreon. Greatly appreciate your guys' support. Helps me do what I do. And as always, thanks for joining us at kipadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.
breathe. And the sun's on.